Hello, 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 craft friends. Sassy Crafty Taz here, back with another video. This video is for my loaded bustier purse. So before I get started, I just want to say that if, if I sound a little bit nasal or raspy or whatever, um, just bear with me. I have been sick with the flu for the past week and a half. My whole household has been sick except for my son. I'm glad he didn't get what we all had because it was torture. Um, and it is not easy to bounce back from. So I can thankfully say that as of today, I am feeling much better. Um, I am still slowly recuperating because it took all my energy and so forth. So with all that being said, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so the Bustier purse that I would like to show first is this is what it is. This is the website um, called Creative Cuts that I got the cut file from. I did have to pay $1.99 for the cut <clears throat> from this website, but once you purchase it, it belongs to you. And so it shows you um, the purse and how it looks with the one handle. However, I use two handles on mine. And then it is SVG friendly and you can use um, your Cricut or your Silhouette or whatever to, um, to cut the purse out. It comes with all of the pieces. And then you have to put it together. Now, to make the two handles or even to extend the handle, there is a little trick. But um, I have Robin Pitts with Serge Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. She made the Bustier purse and also did an extensive awesome tutorial that I will link in the description box to show you how to create the purse. Okay, so I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, making sure I'm trying not to miss anything. Uh, Okay, and so this was a Valentine's swap from um, our Facebook group, Loaded Envelopes Galore and More. And so um, Robin was hosting this swap, and it was to make this Loaded Bustier purse. Um, there were two um, choices, which would be um, sexy and sophisticated or shabby chic. And so I'm not really a shabby chic girl, but I thought that the um, sexy and sophisticated was more my style. So, without further ado, let me start rambling on, and I want to actually show um, what, how, what I did. Now, I will tell you, this was a very tricky project. To be quite honest, I did my purse. I made this a total of four times before this was my last official um result um because although it comes with all the parts it um it has tips and tricks 
on how you have to actually put it together. So <clears throat> Robin does explain all of that and she shows you step by step on how to put it together and the trick on how to make sure because it comes with, you know, curves. Okay. And so I'm just going to um, get a little bit close up. So this paper here is a basil paper that I bought from Joann's when Joann's had their um, all their papers like four four dollars or so. And they also had this paper here. Um, it's just a regular specialty cardstock. It's no name brand or anything. Um, it's just a specialty cardstock that Joann's had. And I like the print and like the lines and stuff in it. And so that's what I decided to do now. Um, in Robin's video, she shows where she laced up her... Um, her front but um you kind of had to not like glue all the way in to um to um be able to lace up your front and I glued it too far over so once the glue dry and I got ready to put my loop um try to put my ribbon through my loops it was a little too tight so instead of doing um, the lace up in the front, I just decided to just put some red gemstones um, on the holes here because this do this vest do come with holes. It you know like I said, it comes with all of the pieces, and so this is a, just some sticker that I put on my uh, middle here. And then I just decided to do the same here on the um, the bra. Um, I got th this is some um, some trim that I got from Dollar Tree, and so I decided to put it around the breast area, and also um, I you know use some lace there. Now let me just turn it to the side. And this is some trim that I got from Hobby Lobby when their they had Hobby Lobby had their trim two weeks ago for um, fifty percent off. So I thought this was perfect to go with it. It it has like these rolls and um, let me see if I can turn that a little bit. Okay, so you can see it better. So it has that rolls with that um, black lace. And then these little um, black balls in the middle. And if I could turn it around again, that's how my back looks. Okay. And so this is for my partner. Um, I'm actually going to be sending this out to, to her. But because I was sick, um, I wasn't able to get out and do anything. I actually was like too weak to to even move. All right. So I'm going to move back. Um, we had a list of things that needed to go inside the Boussier purse, which was a wand, um, a handmade card, um, and some, some embellishments. We also had to provide some candies and things like that in there. And so because of how tight it fits, I really don't want to take everything out. And being that I'm one-handed, I don't want to disturb everything. Let me see if I could get the stuff out without everything tumbling on me. We're going to try it. All right, so we had to we had to give some chocolates. So I'm gonna just move it back so I have space. So we had to give some chocolates. So I got these from Dollar Tree. And we had to provide some chocolates. Okay. And if the camera moves a little bit, guys, please forgive me. Um I'm one-handed here. All right. Oh, we also had to create some tags, so um, so also, this also a chocolate that I had for her, 
my partner. So as you can see, stuff is tumbling a little bit. I do apologize. All right. So um, she's got some rose shares. No, it's, this is not rose shares. It's some other kind of chocolate candy. All right. And so here is one of here is my tag. And um I just layered doilies on it. And then this was um gifted to me in another swap. And so I just used it and then I put that same lace rose trim at the bottom. And then I lined the back with that paper. So you get to see that paper up close. All right. And here is uh, trying to get it out without me falling. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's see. Yeah, this stuff I can't pull out. So I made some envelope embellishments. That's just about as far as I could get it up. And this is my wand. And all I basically did was I used some, some, um, I did a rosette on my, um, envelope punch board. I used some black trim here and then, um, doily there. And so that is pretty much um, all we had to do. My handmade card, I have to um, make an envelope for it. So I won't show that. But um, I will see if my partner has a YouTube channel so that I can see if uh, she can make a video. If not, um, I will have some pictures um, hopefully I can put them somewhere in this video if I can figure it out so that you guys can see it. So that's it. I just wanted to show you really quick my sexy and sophisticated loaded bustier purse. As I said, again, this project was from the loaded envelopes, uh, galore and more Facebook group and it was hosted by Robin Pitts with Sir Chelsea Rocco Creative Designs and I will leave a link to Robin's video on this particular project. She made uh, two um, different uh, versions or three different versions of it um, and with one of them she shows a tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you for bearing with me with my voice and all. And I hope you guys have an awesome, wonderful, and crafty day. Bye.